The Early Works is made possible with funding from the American Film Commentary Initiative, dedicated to ensuring all films receive the commentary they so richly deserve. Nick, it's an honor to have you. Ah, oh, thank you, John. It's an honor to be here. A lot of people may know you from The League on FX, the upcoming Kroll show on Comedy Central, but for me, I'll always think of you as young Nicky from a little film called Kroll Family Get-Together 1982. Oh, that's very kind of you, John. You know, the fact that this film was made almost 30 years ago and that it's still a part of the cultural dialogue here in America is a testament to just a bunch of young filmmakers getting together and, and making something that they believe in. Was it uh, Nicholas? No, 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 it wasn't Nicholas. No, it wasn't Nicholas. No. Yeah, to me this is a film about identity. Yeah, anytime you have a family reunion in a film, I think it's a flare gun to that theme, but we wanted to drive it home. It's like, who are you? Well, I had the great privilege of working with uh, Uncle Peter on this, uh, who's obviously gone on to do uh, Mother's Day 1992. He was also the DP and brought a wonderful macaroni salad, very bare bones production. Yeah. Now, here's, here's some action shots, and I always appreciate a guy who can do both action and drama. The camera work there frustrated me at the time. I said, let's see this kick, and, and the director said, no, it's what you don't see that is really special. And yet, then we go straight to the brutality, so it's almost as if they're willing to show this brutality, mm -hmm. how brutal was what they didn't show. I know. The frisbee scene. Yeah. Tell me about the frisbee. It's innocence, you know, and all the back and forth that goes with it. And this was rewritten the night before. And I spent so much time on the physical training, but I never really practiced Frisbee once. Well, and it's not really evident until, well, right there. But I think that adds depth and likability. Yeah. You know, when I signed on to do this, originally it was really a dog plays Frisbee picture. Um, and the more we got into it, the more I felt like, you know what? We're making a serious film here. Right? And of course, nothing against Air Bud. Oh, a great film. A beautiful film. It's just not the film that we were trying to make. And this is, to me, we were working very hard on making this innocence lost. You know, you're searching for it. Right, and you even disappear with it. Yeah. And, uh, and I reemerge shirtless, sweaty, bruised. What happened, Nick? And it's like, what caused that pain? What happened? Yeah. What'd you get hit with? Yeah. The frisbee itself had caused that pain. The innocence is the cause of my pain. Mm -hmm. Obviously, when I look at you and I see that cute little kid, and as we sit in the studio today, I don't want to say Mickey Rourke, <laughs> but at the same time, what happened? Life. Life happened. And um, I think that kid is still in me. I think he still informs every performance I do. It's every time you do a role, it adds to the quilt. Uh, and I drape myself in that quilt every time I get in front of the camera. Well, Nick, thank you. Mm. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for being here. I am honored that you would guide me through this. <laughs> well, thanks for being honored, and, and thank you for that amazing piece of work. Thank you for celebrating it, because um, what's the point in making art if it's not celebrated? Thank you for reminding me of that. Also, thank you for lunch yesterday. I don't think I ever thanked no, you. No, and thank you for thanking me. Yeah, thank you. 